what's up guys so we're back with another full self drive we got 1011.2 i know it's been a while it's been a very long time but i've been busy so let's get back to it today we're going to go through the tail of the dragon here at deals gap uh, with full self drive probably not the best idea so we're gonna see how it does on these turns. If it does get too sketchy, um, I'll take over and then I'll just drive the rest of it. But well, let's get to it. I mean, so far not too bad. Um, I know some of these roads some of these turns will get sketchy. Um, luckily, there's not a lot of people out here today. It is Easter weekend. You know, it's supposed to rain today, so a lot of people didn't show up uh, to come out here. But, I mean, we're gonna have people behind me at some point. I might have to turn off to the side to let them pass. not liking this not liking this at all let me just get past maybe this downhill part maybe he doesn't like it definitely doesn't stay completely in its lane on these turns so I mean I gotta be super ready it's probably more sketchy than me just driving it normal honestly more motorcycles coming up behind us so I gotta Take it. All right, back to it. I mean, it's not making the turns like horrible. It's just grandma in all the turns for the most part. Which, I mean, I guess it doesn't feel comfortable taking these turns at a higher speed. So, I mean, it makes sense why it slows it down a lot. I mean, that wasn't too bad. Did that a lot smoother. I did have to push on the gas and kind of get it to go. I think it's being over cautious, which is fine, but I know I can make some of these turns. That was pretty good. I think I stayed in this lane the whole time. Definitely on like those types of turns, it like that is actually on the line. It rides the line for some reason. Definitely don't recommend using full self drive if you're gonna come through here because the first time I drove through it without it, it's way more fun. Way more fun. But this is just a test to see if they can handle these turns. And that time it just completely cut into the lane. Tell you right now, if this was 
busy roads right now, I would not be doing this. All right, let me take that. Yeah. Safety reasons, I would not do this if this was busy today because it's sketchy. Like, it's not horrible. It's definitely, like, been way worse on main roads than it is on here, but, I mean, the way it takes some of these turns is a little questionable. Especially, it's, it's perfectly mapping the road out, so I don't know why it wants to hug and actually, like, get into the other lane on the turns. these turns it gets confused with and how it just kind of hops in this lane to make it. I don't know why. I got a car coming up behind me. It like picks and chooses if it wants to take a, those types of turns wide or if it just wants to like cut the lane completely. It's really weird. I feel like on some of the turns I have to like get on the pedal. I know it's gonna make the turn, it's just it's super sketchy. If it like just does it as a constant flow, I feel like it actually completes the turn better than when it's trying to like break in the middle of the turn. Those tight ones, it's, it's, I don't think it's ready for. to the end I'm probably gonna stop up here and there's supposed to be the scenic outlook so I'll probably get out and look at that but I mean overall with all those turns it did uh, I wouldn't say it did terrible I mean I, I don't think full self-drive is really made for this type of driving obviously and it would be way more fun just to drive it yourself um, so yeah, but I mean, if you like this, if you want to see any more tests uh, with the Tail of the Dragon, let me know. I'll be up here for a few more weeks anyways. So if you're not subscribed already, go ahead and subscribe, smash that like button, and comment down below what you want to see in the next video. I'll see you then. Peace!